What's up guys? Welcome to my first ever solo video. I ended up not talking much in this recording, so you'll be hearing a lot of these shitty voiceovers. Sorry about that. The video starts off slow, but you'll see it quickly picks up. So make sure you got headphones on, and let's cut to where our journey begins. Building into a compound. I spawned kind of close, but the run will still take a couple minutes. I just have to pray that they don't get there first. I was pretty upset at myself for being a whiffing bot, but after finding some streamer loot on the ground, I felt a little bit better. Daddy, daddy, dad, just looting the body and chilling. Do you think I'll notice my health? Oh, too late. I heard a chainsaw fucking up some trees, so I had to investigate. Yoink.
hearing a raid was close by, I felt I had to check it out. We go back. so the raid wasn't working out for me. I decided to finish the scrap run I was doing earlier, and while on my way home, I killed a child with a strong mouth. Fuck you, kill yourself, you fuck you. He apparently found the three DBs in this decayed base. I looked around for some possible loot, but found nothing. However, this base would prove to be valuable in the future. I managed to make it home alive, and went right back to grab a fight on the mountain near my base. robot heard me. Ooh. It's time to lock in. Throughout all the PvP and farming from the past hour, I had quickly gained over 1400 scrap as well as a decent bit of other resources. With all the scrap we have, a Thompson or Sar would give us the boost we needed in the white. However, beyond the numerous scrub weapons in my boxes, I had yet to obtain a real gun. Let's change that. P What the fuck?
You know how in the intro, I said this video started slow? Well, I meant it. However, I also said this video picks up quickly. I usually never do this, but I actually ended up crafting a SAR. Clearly, this was the right choice, because from this point on, just about everything goes my way. Check it out. Within two minutes of crafting my first SAR, I already have another to fall back on. As for the person I killed, his luck kept getting worse. I'm gonna raid you, man. Raid you. Give my phone back or I raid you. Okay. Using my brand new pump lended to me by my new friend Roby. I'm gonna raid you, man. I went on a roam in hopes of finding the perfect opportunity. But before looking for PvP, I wanted to check out one of my neighbor's bases. And I noticed that their base is full of weaknesses. Definitely an opportunity to soft side the ceiling, but that'd be for later. For now, we're trying to bring in more guns. Another huge W, this time bringing back 4 extra SARS. But going to explore again right away, I stumbled across something even more life changing. Oh my god. What is happening? Three rows of guns is crazy bro, what is going on over there? Years, I didn't even see that. We just made some insane gains. Suddenly having over two rows of guns to our name, I wasn't quite sure what to do with myself. But assuming this loot came from the decayed base, I quickly ran back.
out of here. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. I got no clue what's going on there. Nothing to all this in like 20 minutes. I went back to the decayed base one more time just in case. Alright, I don't think there's anything left here, so I'm gonna go back. At this point, I had a lot of loot for a 2x2. Two two. So in order to keep this loot, I needed to make some upgrades. And to make upgrades, we first need a farm. I did one more wood run and then decided that I would neglect the wood I just farmed and put down an electric furnace system. Just gotta get the industrial. We're gonna have to recycle for some tech trash. I still needed tech trash, but that raid sounded very appealing. So I quickly recycled and ran over, where I stashed my tech trash in a bush. Clearly, these guys were clueless. There's no way I wasn't coming back. Okay, okay. I know this looks scuffed as f but if I killed the guy on top, I'd have no way of killing the one crouching below from the angle I'm at. I was neglecting to shoot him, so I could jump up and guarantee the kill on the second one. But the jump's impossible anyway, so yeah. Dude, how have they not seen me? I'm so bad, bro. No, come back. Damn, bro. 
Oh, they're here. Look at me, I'm flying! Alright, whoever built this base should be ashamed of themselves. I died a couple times coming back, but overall the loot I stashed was insane profit. Being the greedy solo I am, I made sure to take every ounce of loot.
after getting my base up to standard, I went to water treatment for a huge recycle run. Surprisingly, I didn't rage quit after that and went for the final roam of day two. 